Happy Tuesday. I'm glad to be with you again and to look at a scripture from Proverbs chapter 4, which is uh, Easter. Of course, the book of Proverbs doesn't deal directly with the Easter story and that kind of thing, but it is because there are 31 Proverbs in the book of Proverbs. There's one for each day of the month that has 31 days. So today we're going to look at Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, which says, Keep your heart with all vigilance. In the old RSV, it says, with all diligence. Same, th same thought in both words, vigilance and diligence. For from it flow the springs of life. Proverbs 4.23 Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. You know, I once wrote this verse on a birthday card for my son. At that point, I'm not even sure how old he was at that point. I think he was in college. But because of the different kinds of influences that that bombarded me when I was in college, I was aware of the kinds of things that were influencing him as well. And of course, um, there can be everything from the trivial to the truly satanic that can influence you at one stage of your life or another. And especially if you're a young adult or a teenager, it seems like the world seems so big and so exciting and our hormones are coursing through our veins, and we are uh, influenced uh, by many, many things, to do many, many things. The Bible warns us about the things we should be careful to not do, and to also focus intentionally upon those positive things. And so it says, keep your heart with all but your heart at the heart of things, at the very throne room of your inner life, the scripture calls your heart. And who sits on that throne in your heart? That's the key to blessing, progress, maturity, and the future. Keep it, the scripture says. In other words, protect it. Protect the treasure that you have there in our Christian faith, in the Lord Jesus Christ himself, in the truth that we stand upon and depend upon, and that is the, 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 the unshakable place. Well, it can be shaken, but it will not be destroyed. It will not come down because it is unshakable. God does that. He shakes. He shakes the world. The end of the world it's going to be a huge shaking. But there are things in our daily lives and in the course of our, of our earthly existence which do shake us. So keep your heart. Keep your heart focused on your relation with Jesus. Because many influences come and they distract. And he says to do it with vigilance so that what you do with your eyes what you do with your thought life, what even what you do with your feet have to do with keeping your heart, keeping your life on track so that you don't swerve either to the left or to the right. You don't fall in either ditch. You keep focused on Jesus and, and walking with him into each day and trusting him, inviting him into your future, your decisions, your relationships, walking in both humility, because he's the Lord, and walking in thanksgiving for what he gives you each day. Well, Easter blessing be upon you on a Tuesday.